Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we are taking a look at an asset in a Unity asset store called an FPS weapon, MP7, and it does tag itself as free. So let's take a look. So when we open up the asset and we have the demo scene, as always, love demo scene, we can see that we actually get two models in there. So one is without this little trinket at the bottom, and the other is with, so we can see we get both of them. And in the prefabs, we can see that, yep, yeah, we have that there, that is the prefab itself. And if we have a look in the prefab, we can see that we just need to add that little extra in there. So it is one single prefab. One just has that cube turned on and the other doesn't. That's all it is. So quality wise, I would say they are pretty decent. And one thing that stands out for me more than anything is that each section of this gun is its own separate object. And that can make things very, very interesting. So quality wise, I think they are very nice indeed. That I think they are really well designed and they look good out the box without the need for post-processing, without anything. Obviously, adding post-processing is entirely up to you. So I modified the scene just very slightly. I've added a cube and some post-processing and we can see how they look in the game view. And I really, really do like it. The silencer as well, that's um, a little bit extra. So you've got multiple ways of having the same object. Just you know, change them however you want it to be. If you want it to be parts of a gun that you collect and pick up, this model is going to be perfect for that. So quantity, we just get the the weapon. That, that's all we get here. There's nothing more than that. Folds are all neatly laid out. Uh, so nothing really in the way of extras. But to be honest, I think it's good enough for what it is. And to be honest, um, I think by now you guys probably know that I'll be remaking the FPS shooter game that I did many years ago so i'll be remaking that this year uh or next year well it'll be next year we no this year <laughs> so um yeah that um yeah oh i like the quality and it's really really nice i really like the fact that each individual bit can be taken apart make it something collectible as you go through a game so how easy is it to use? It's very easy. It's just drag and drop. How versatile is it? Incredibly versatile because all of those separate pieces. You could modify each little bit if you wanted to or just play around generally with the material. I guess it's entirely up to you. But overall, yeah, it's pretty decent. Nothing wrong with admit post-processing here and there, I guess, as well. Make things even better. So price and size. It does tag itself as free, as I said earlier, which is good hopefully it stays free because uh, it's a really nice asset and if you're looking at making a first person shooter then this might actually do the trick 16.8 uh, meg really good size for what it is i think that's a really really good size actually even if you wanted something for mobile devices that's really decent so overall it's just really really good i mean i, I can't actually find anything bad to say about this obviously you have to create your own animations for the gun to be firing but that's simple enough to do so how useful is this going to be? Well, if you are creating FPS, like I say, you're going to find this useful no matter what type of FPS you're creating. This is going to be fantastic, even whether it's just for prototype or whether it's going to be in your final version. I can see this being useful in so many different places. Um, I, I keep going back to it, but I really love the fact that each section is its own object and you can change that you can modify that and for example if you just wanted the i don't know the trigger right there to be bright pink you could change that if you wanted to for whatever reason so it's i just cannot get over how customizable this has the potential to be so guys as you know i don't rate assets i either recommend them or I don't and I've been singing its praises for the past couple of minutes now and I'm pretty sure you guys know of course I'd recommend this this is a really really nice asset I cannot get over how nice this actually is it looks good um, I've used it in one little project uh, which took me about 10 minutes to put together and it's easily usable so of course I'd recommend this I would absolutely if you're creating FPS I would recommend it 110 percent it's going to be a it, it's just going to be an asset, mind the pun, to your game to have this FPS weapon in there. So guys, have you used this weapon yourself in your FPS game? If you have, let me know what you think of it and what you've done with it. Have you modified it? Have you moved all those components of the weapon around? And if you've got an asset on the asset store yourself, please let me know. 
love to check it out and review it in one of these little videos. And finally, guys, don't forget to click on that subscribe button and the bell icon as well, and you can stay up to date with more quality assets like this one, as well as how to use it in a game. I do lots of game development here, remember? So guys, I hope to see you around in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.